Okay friends, welcome to Easy Coding with Amara once again and in this video I will show you how you can create this type of search icon and in the previous video I will tell you how you can create this type of list view design and you will see that all the data in this list view is coming from the Firebase database and this image is coming from the asset folder and this image is coming from the Firebase storage okay so if you want to watch this video i will provide the link in the description box so in this video i will tell you how you can create this type of search icon and when you click on this icon you will see that this type of layout and in this layout i create this cross icon and this back icon so when you click on this back icon the that page is disappeared and you will see the list view again and now i again click on this and you will see that when i click uh, right f here so all the code related to the fl is appear here so when i click on this cross icon you will see that this is remove and all the data is show here for you and this is the suggestion list view and i create a list view for the suggestion for the user okay so now if I click on this FL view, you will see that this type of uh, list view in Flutter is appear. And when I click on this, you will see that the list view in Flutter is appear. Okay, so this is the video which we are going to show you how you can create this type of search view. Okay, so let's start. Open the Flutter project which we are working on. So let's open the Android Studio. And uh, this is the previous video code and in that video I create this type of a new file which is search view dot file and inside this file I create whole code for you. So I first I show you the previous video code. Okay. So this is the previous video code and uh, if you want to see I will provide you the link in the description box. Okay, so first I am going to create the search icon okay inside the app bar so this is the app bar and inside this app bar i am going to create this type of icon okay so this is the icon which i select for the search and uh, when user click on this icon okay so i call this show search class and inside this class i pass the context and this class my search delegate which we are going to create in uh, this video and uh, after that and this class is called it returns some value okay which i store in this selected uh, variable and after that i check for this variable if it is null it, if it is not null or not equal to query so this query in this query i am going to store some now value. i am going to initialize first call this and uh, write uh, the null value here okay so if this So if this uh, uh, selected value is equals to null, okay, or is equals to query, so and if sorry, if it is not equals to null and not equals to this null value, then I am going to set this query to the selected value, which we are going to pass when this uh, when this class is called and it returns uh, something value here and store in this selected variable. So now I am going to create this class, okay. So scroll down here and I am going to create this class in the last So now you will see that here this type of error and when I click here Alt enter so you will see that it is saying create for missing override so I click on that so you will see that the four functions are override and present here so this is the first function this is the first function and inside this function you will see that here write action uh, build action so in this function i am going to create this type of cross arrow okay so you will see that here this type of cross arrow and when i click on this cross arrow you will see that all the list is removed and when i write here something and when i click on this cross arrow you will see that that uh, all the code is removed and all the list is showing here so i i am going to do this type of actions in this action build actions okay so in this function 
I am going to create a widget called this cross icon, and when some uh, some uh, some click on this uh, cross icon, I am going to remove all the data which is stored in the query. Okay. So basically, this query is the variable when user writes something on the added text. and uh, that uh, data is stored in this query okay so when user click on this uh, cross icon i am going to remove all the data which is stored in the query and after that i call for the show suggestions contacts and uh, this uh, show suggestions will show all the suggestions again okay so whenever i write something here and uh, uh, click on this cross button so all the uh, suggestions are again show and uh, this query variable is going to be empty okay so this is the work which, which we have done in this build actions okay so now in this function which is build leading function i am first i am going to remove this from here and uh, this build leading function is called this arrow which is which is forward arrow okay so i am going to create this arrow here and uh, uh, when i click on this arrow you will see that that uh, screen is disappear and you will see the list view again so that work is uh, that work i am going to do here so here the logic is very simple first i am going to create the back arrow button and then on press i am going to remove the page which which show the list okay so in this way first i am going to create a up icon button and in this icon button i am going to show this uh, on press method and inside this press method i simply close that page okay so now after that you will see this type of build result button uh, sorry function and uh, this function simply returns the returns the value which user enter here okay so whenever user write something here okay this function is going to return that value okay so whenever i write something here like flutter then this function returns the fl okay in this method so i return simply the value which the user entered in the added text so i write here okay so now you have to create a list view for the suggestions you will see that here when i click on this cross button all the data this data is stored in some list okay so first i am going to create a list and i store all the topics which you are showing here and i store in that list view okay so first of all i am going to create a list view uh, an array of list here so so this is the list which is, which name is new list and i am going to store the topics in this list so this is the init method and inside this init method we will fetch the data from the firebase in the previous video okay so inside this list which i created above i store the topics okay so all the topics which are stored in the firebase database okay i fetch that topics and store in this new list view okay so inside this new list all the topics is stored and now i am going to pass this new list in the suggestions okay so all the suggestions which you are show, uh, which we, you view here is coming from this new list okay so all the suggestions which you will see here is coming from this new list because i store all the topics inside this new list okay so now i pass this in the last method which is build suggestions so first i remove this code from here so here first i will check this type of query if this query is empty okay it means user did not write anything okay so if user did not write anything here so i will show all the data which is uh, stored in new list okay and if user write something here then i am going to show the data which is related to this flfl okay so the, for that i am going to write a condition here like this so i create a variable this is suggestions and first check this query so if this query is empty which means that user did not write anything in the uh, added text okay 
so that in that way i show all the data which is present in the new list okay so after that if the this query is not empty this condition is run okay and uh, here i simply check that first i convert with the data which user entered um, in the edit text and convert into the lower case and after that i check the data uh, which user entered is uh, present in our list or not okay so if the data is present in, in our list so the option related to that data is appear and if the data which user entered is not present in our list then it show nothing okay so like this if user write something here like k and you will see there is no data in the list which contains k so you will see there is nothing okay and if i remove here from this and write i so you will see that all the data in in this data you will see there is an i in this data you will see there is an i so if write i i n and t so you, then you will see that all the data which is related to i and t i and t is appear here okay so this will this code works so now i remove this code from here and uh, this is the condition and uh, also you will see that if i write here i and t and you will see that there is two nodes which is related to the i and t so this is a, an other list view okay which i am going to create here so now i am going to create a new list view and uh, the size of the list view is uh, related to these suggestions okay so i am going to write this code here and inside this list view you will see that the length of the list view is this suggestions dot length and after that i simply create a title which is uh, coming from these suggestions okay so after that when someone clicks on the list view okay you will see that when i click on this uh, some specific item you will see that this is intro introductions to android and that page is also disappear so for disappear that page i write this code close and passing the context and i pass that data inside this okay okay so now i am going to run this code and i will show you output so what this code is going to do so just run this code okay so the app is running now and uh, you will see that this type of uh, view which we have created earlier so i click on this plus icon so you will see that this type of icon and this type of data which is coming from the firebase and uh, you will see this image images take some time okay because it is coming from the firebase storage and now you will see this type of icon here and now i am going to click this icon and you will see that this type of data and also you will see that this is python for beginners and all that because i store uh, the sam title in every node so and uh, also you will see that for so the spelling mistake okay so now you will see this type of data and when i click on this nothing is happen only the page is closed okay so for that if you want to get the data which is show here and uh, after that you want to show that data here okay so we will code for that okay so now let's start for that code okay so here where i create the list view this type of list view i am going to first check that condition so if this query variable is empty so i am going to pass all the uh, data which is stored in the, this new list okay and uh, this data is stored in this search item okay and if this uh, query variable is not empty so i am going to fetch the data which user enter and store in this search item okay so first i am going to change this length to search item okay so first user when enter into this app he write there's nothing so the the length of this search item is equals to this nodes all the nodes which is present okay so it show this type of list view and after that if user write something here okay so the uh, so the length of this search item is equals to 1 okay 
so in that way i write here if search items length is equals to one then it is going to do something here after that in the else part I am going to do this type of code. Return a text. Okay. So if the length is equals to one, that means users write something. Okay. And select something. And then I am going to get that data and show inside this text. Okay. And in that condition, I fetch, I show the data here. Okay, so you will know that the data is stored inside this search item. Okay, so I get the topic name, topic data from this and write some styling here. Change the color and bold and uh, write the font size here. And after that, I right click on this and give some padding here. So that I write the padding 10 here. And now I run the code. Okay, the, so the code is running and I click on this icon and uh, after that you will see this type of data and uh, this is the data and uh, now I click on this icon and this is C plus for beginners and you will see when I click on this C plus for beginners it show here. Okay, so now I select something from here and uh, this is the search view in android so you will see this is the search view in android and uh, now again i am going to select something here but you will see there is no suggestions it's mean uh, this mean is that i write the condition here that uh, if uh, this query is empty so it have to show all the data which is stored in this new list okay so you will see that here the uh, list view which I am going to create here is no it no is not showing here so it, it means that there is something in this query variable okay so we have to refresh this query variable and uh, we create this query variable here okay so I cut this from here and uh, I write it inside this class so now it refresh every time this variable but now you will see here this type of error okay so now i am going to cut this function from here and paste inside the class so that so that's why this error is removed so cut this function from here and uh, paste that function inside this class okay so i now paste this function here and uh, now the error is uh, removed and after one thing more is that i am going to clear the new list from here you will see that this type of new list so i am going to remove so every time when this function is called first it clear all the data which is present inside this new list and then store the refresh data okay so now i am going to run this app and show you output so the now the app is running and I click on this icon and you will see this type of data and uh, now I click on this you will see this type of search view on Android now again I click on this you will see that all the data which is present inside the list view okay is show here so now I click on this Python for beginners and you will see all the data which is present inside the list view is show here okay Okay, so that's it for this video and if you want source code, so check the link in the description box and if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe and also share with your friends. See you soon. Allah Hafiz.